previously on the PV show. Interestingly, it will surprise you to know that a lot of vocalists would rather take cold food whilst they are actually taking the oil-based food. For instance, you're actually taking some fufu with some heavy palm nut soup and then the person has some chilled alvaro sitting right next to it. This is double detrimental to your vocals because already you have to stay away from cold foods and the oil as well is going to coat your larynx which is going to intensify the rigidity of your vocals so if you are taking the oil which is already not too cool and you're going to top it up with cold water or cold drink what you are telling the oil is please have your way settle down with me so the oil is going to coat around your larynx and it's going to completely alter your vocal tone once you begin to sing It's another beautiful edition of your favorite, most educative vocal show in the entire world, The Perfect Vocal Show, dubbed The PV Show. My name is Alexandra and I've got news for you today, but before I break that news to you, I'm going to be right back. Y'all welcome back to today's episode. Well, I told you I had news for you. Sadly, or should I say, interestingly, today is our last episode for the first season. And I must say that I am very, very glad that she sticked and stayed with us right from the beginning of the show up until now. It's not the last of us you're going to see. We're going to come back bigger and stronger with the second season very soon. But before we do that, we just want to wrap up everything that we've done on this season and add a few more tips to it before we take a break. So on today's episode, we would like to talk about working towards who we want to be. What that means is that every vocalist, in fact, some vocalists have an aspiration of who they want to sound like or to what level of professionalism they would like to attain. But the thing is that sometimes we assume the end too early and instead of working gradually to attain that end, we end up jumping from where we are to where we actually want to be. What am I saying? I'm saying that there could be a vocalist who probably wants to sound like Celine Dion, but currently has the vocal range of CC Winans. Instead of working up the ladder gradually, the person begins to introduce him or herself to that vocal range of Celine Dion. That wide range of a jump can actually cause a detrimental effect to your vocal. What that means is that instead of your vocals growing into where you want it to attain, you end up stretching it beyond its capacity. When that happens, just like an elastic band, you stretch it beyond the limits where it's able to reassume the original state. At that point in time, you actually have your vocals damaged and you won't even be able to have yourself singing like the CC wine and she actually started off with. So you want to be careful. This is how you work towards it. When you have your current range and you want to build up a ladder, you actually collect vocalists who share the same range with you or their ranges are just a little above yours. Stick and stay with practices of their songs on that level. When your vocals begin to increase, this is how you'll be able to tell. You realize that the songs that you actually were practicing on your new level, that is the range that is just a bit outside your range, with time it becomes very comfortable. That's when you know that your vocal range has increased. When you attain that increment of vocal range, then you want to step it up a bit. Then you collect another group of vocalists whose ranges are a little bit outside that new range you've attained. Then you keep practicing that as well. With time, it becomes extremely comfortable. Then you know that you've increased again. Then you build it up on and on and on and on with consistency and with frequency at doing this. You realize that with time, you begin to attain your end game. This is what I'm saying. Don't assume your end too early. Build up your vocals to your end. I'll be right back allows for an outblast of pronunciation of words which means that the words are that you actually gulp down as a vocalist interestingly if you observe warm air that is pushed outside by exhaling so you realize that on the seasons of the pv show we actually tackled 
a few warm-ups and drills that you can do at home to, to better your vocals. Well, to wrap up the season, I would like to introduce to you a technique, and that is the vibrato. Every vocalist has a natural level of vibration. That is because our vocal cords produce sound by slapping. That slapping ability is actually vibrative. That means that it is natural for every vocalist to feel a form of vibration around your larynx. But some, at some point in time in our singing, we may want to intensify the act of vibration. One, for emphasis of the vocal expression at that point in time, and also to be able to prolong our breath over the duration of singing. What am I saying? I'm saying that sometime in singing, we apply an intense form of vibration away from the natural vibration of our vocals. And we do that only to emphasize what we are singing at that point in time. Or we do that when it is a long stretch of breath and we would have to economize the breath that is being used at that point in time. Watch this example. So you realize from the video that we just watched, the duet at that point in time um, required that they sustain over that long duration. And if they hadn't introduced that intense vibration or vibrato, what would have happened is that they stood a very high chance of running out of breath. And that would have also affected the beauty of the singing. And also they, also they wanted to place a lot of emphasis on what is being sung there. So the vibration is a lot more intense there than throughout the song. So that's something you may want to practice. But please take note. Some people exaggerate the vibrato. A lot of times when you exaggerate your vibrato, it sounds very much ridiculous. So please, let's watch it. A lot of people confuse being a powerful vocalist to having intense vibration. That is not so. Because a lot of times they end up exaggerating the vibrative effect only to establish that they are powerful. Now listen to this. That's beautiful enough. Why would you want to do that? Only to establish that you're a powerful vocalist? No. So in order to, in, to, in order to establish that you're a powerful vocalist, there are other things that you would have to practice. We'll come to those things some, sometime along our journey on the PV show. Until then, I'm wrapping up. It's the end of the first season of the PV show. I'm going to see you very soon on the second season. But before I do that, before we resume with the next season, you may want to go over the episodes for this season. Keep practicing the warm-ups. Slip in your questions by DMing them to me and I'll be glad to address them. I wish you all the best until I see you again on the second season of the PV show. My name is Alexandra and I'm your glad host. Before you leave, hit that like button, subscribe and share this video so that it will be beneficial to others. I'll see you soon on the second season. Yeah.